Okay, so these are the Dell. Where are the Optiplexes? Uh, 780 Optiplex. They have the card readers in them, which are kind of cool. They got four slots of RAM, four slots for RAM. And they've got this video card on them. This video card was a little bit noisy, but I just cleaned a bunch of fuzz out of it, so it's a little, little bit quieter now. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to load Linux Mint on it so I can just put a basic operating system to see, test the functions on it. And then these puppies will be for sale. So you can see that it seems to be responding normally. Um, see, I've got... Uh, let's see, I've got one of these Hitachis in here, and this is a uh, never know where to look on these things. So, this is an 82 gigabyte hard drive. So, we're going to put Mint on an 82 gigabyte hard drive, and hopefully, that hard drive will be able to interchange with some other uh, very similar uh, Optiplexes that I'll be. Um, testing and uh, so instead of just loading a new operating system on each computer that I test I'll be able to just pull that hard drive theoretically out and put it in a in a similar computer basically as long as they're similar then we're good so seems like everything's working fine on this one and so yeah, we'll just, what I'll do is probably, I'll save several of these computers and then strip several of them out. We have probably um, at least 15 of these. So we'll have plenty of parts if you need it. And we can see that the mouse seems to be responding, so that's good. C CD is definitely working and the keyboard is working because I had to uh, boot to CD and so there it is so we're just going to install it ideally you'd want to be hooked up to the internet to install Linux Mint because <clears throat> it will automatically download the drivers needed for the system. So this in this case we don't have the we don't have internet access so and since I'm using this um, hard drive for other systems basically it's probably better if I don't have all the drivers so and this is your typical Linux Mint install right here. Um, so we just choose the language and continue. And some of this may be sort of boring to. And we're going to install the third party uh, programs. Uh, now, this may or may not have been a good choice because I'm trying to use this hard drive in several other systems. And so, and then this here, we can also test the audio because this ViewSonic monitor, which is a pretty good monitor, uh, has speakers built in. So we're going to erase the old hard drive and install. Now here, right changes. Okay, so. And we're over here in Western Hemisphere. So on these, usually I don't choose a long password.
Basically, Linux requires a password. It will. I think there's a way you do it without it, but. I usually just put public as a computer name. And I'm not going to uh, require a password to log in. So you can see basically this system is working. We have several more I'm going to be testing as well. And several parts for sale and units for sale. Okay, we finished installing Linux Mint. Here is the reboot on this. And so I probably should have removed the disk. So this is a fresh install of Linux Mint and a reboot. And there it is. 54 bit Linux Mint 18. Press center. Optiplex 760 series. We'll take a few minutes, fresh install, but usually Mint is, or excuse me, Linux is a lot faster than Windows. Windows uh, is highly monopolized. Linux is free, which is cool. And so my, my version of the Linux story was Linux Mint, whatever. Debian or whatever kind of Linux operating system you want was sort of developed by those people that were not really into the Bill Gates Windows thing. Um, the Windows was basically designed to have repeat customers and so a lot of techs didn't like that idea. They didn't want other stuff involved. So here's basically Linux Mint all loaded, and that's as fast as it went, basically. Uh, only a couple minutes, and we're good to go. And so basically, this system, I believe, is good for any kind of other operating system you want to put on it. And so uh, that's my... Dell Optiplex test.